So to fly your gyrocopter you're going to want to start off obviously by pressing E to get on it. Next you're going to want to find a long and open area to start your flight. You want to press W to accelerate like you would with any other vehicle. Once you've got up some speed you want to hold space to pull up the nose while still holding W to maintain acceleration. Once you've got some height you'll want to repeatedly tap C to pull the nose down a bit to level off. If you want to steer you just use A and D like you would on the ground. And of course you can use shift to use boost which makes you move faster at the cost of more fuel. So here comes the hard part. How do you land it? A lot of people like to hold C and push the nose down but honestly that is a rough landing most of the time. A much better strategy is to keep the gyrocopter level and just let off the W key to slowly descend, occasionally pulsing the W key to make sure you don't start falling straight down. Don't worry though, even if the gyrocopter does fall straight out of the sky, you'll take massively reduced damage. However, if you jump out of the gyrocopter like a coward, you'll be rewarded at best with a broken leg and at worst a death and a long walk back to your loot. You can use the parkour perk and oh shit drops candy to prevent leg breaking and sprains. But the real lifesaver is just don't fly that far up. You're not a commercial airliner, you do not have to ascend up to 42,000 feet to get around. Lie above the trees and save yourself some long and complicated landings. The last thing every good pilot needs to know is fuel conservation. If you're mid-air, you can fly almost for free. You want to hold W and shift to move at full speed. Then you want to hold C and space at the same time. For some reason, this will massively reduce the amount of fuel you use. Be sure to drop a like and comment what other quick tips videos you'd like to see, and make sure to subscribe to be notified of them when they come out. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible and I'll see you in the next video.